morning, buenos dias, bonjour, bonjour, annyeonghaseyo, aloha kakaha kia, welcome back to the vlog. Sorry there was no vlog yesterday and I apologize for the noise outside. It's Monday and they seem to be doing landscaping every stinking Monday. I wanted to take this opportunity, I'm on my 10 minute break with my student. Let me make sure she's on camera. So my student is away on her break. I turn off my camera and my audio, obviously, especially now that I'm recording. I take these 10 minutes to prepare uh, my next class. We do 45 minute sessions, 10 minute breaks in between. I want to show you some stuff that I learned while doing this because we're learning as we're going. This is new for so many people. As you know, I'm using two screens. This is just my 32 inch TV hooked up to my laptop. Some other things I discovered while working with my student is for example, changing the cursor size and uh, color. So you can even see it from here. See how I'm moving it? But this was fantastic because I would show her things on my screen where you were not screen, screen, because we're using Zoom, and sometimes she couldn't see my cursor moving, my arrow. So I made it larger, a very distinctive color, and then she could spot it. When I go back to Zoom and share screen, my student's back. Okay, I gotta get back to this, but uh, when I hit share screen, I share screen number two. So she doesn't see anything that's on my desktop. She only sees what's on the TV. Anyway, she's a couple of minutes early. It was supposed to be a 10 minute break. So I'm just gonna let her know it's a little early and get our stuff ready for Spanish. I'll be back in a few. Well, we stayed a few extra minutes because I'm also practicing typing. It, it's not the same as in person, but we're practicing typing and my student gets really frustrated. I don't blame her. It's whenever you learn something new, it's frustrating. I ended up showing her a clip of me trying to get something on the piano, something new. And I showed her, no, see, I am doing the same thing you are. I'm using my fingers on a keyboard. Mine is just musical. And when it doesn't come out right, I just start over. I try again, I try again. And that's exactly how you practice an instrument. You just keep going and do it over and again. The only thing I really do when I'm still doing this, and this is me, the gesture is me still practicing. I, I sometimes go, oh, but that's, this, that's the extent of it. That's as far as I go. And I'm just trying to teach her that deep breathing technique, relaxation, understanding because a lot of times we react very adversely to something that we just simply don't understand so it's taking a step back and saying okay this is new and my fingers aren't used to it i don't know where every letter in the keyboard is so we're starting slow two keys at a time she was doing these today and um I just do it over and do it over and do it over and breathe deep and if i'm tired of it move on to something else come back to it later anyway after those few extra minutes i did my notes i i know i don't know actually if any teachers out there are watching me so if you're an educator elementary middle high school college whatever music art yoga whatever you do if you're an educator let me know in the comments i would love to meet you all i'm finally at 100 subscribers i have no clues watching me except for obviously friends and family. So please let me know. Right now I'm just gonna stand up because I've been sitting here eight to 10.30. Actually, it's now 11.04. Oh my gosh, I actually cracked, like my, my hip went clack. Oh. Since I am a work from home spouse, guess what is also happening while I teach? I got some laundry going in here. It's time to switch it over to the dryer. Before class, I tidied up the kitchen and this area. There's a bit of a surprise for my husband today. I'm gonna move him over to my office. I'm so excited to do this. But yes, this morning my husband apologized for saying, I'm sorry that I'm leaving a mess here because he uh, prepared his lunch right there and then he left his breakfast stuff in here. <laughs> And there were some other things on the island, which is why I tidied up. Because you never really know if somebody's going to pop by. Even with COVID, people stop by. So I did all that. The only thing I didn't do was Swiffer. I don't know if you can tell Luna's shutting again. So I'm going to Swiffer now. While I let the doggies go outside. Luna. Espérate. Afuera. Ay, ta changuita. Hang on. I got to pepper up. Mm -hmm. 
No, apparently she's not having it right now, but my little one's outside. So I'm gonna let her enjoy some fresh air and a little bit of sunlight before it rains. It's very cloudy. Oh, and she's done. Sure. I'm gonna have myself a little snack, Swiffer, prepare lunch. Well, actually, no, I have leftovers. Okay, so I can take a break. I'll probably have a call from my parents, you know, my daily call, because I did call earlier, but I didn't get a, an answer. And then prepare my office so I can bring my husband with me. Oh, I love it. I love the idea. I finally finished clearing that table, which is the one I want to give to my husband. Although I had an idea as I was cleaning, I'm gonna try to do a sort of L-shaped workstation in that corner. Surprisingly, my husband's not home yet, which is good for me because I wanna surprise him, but it's bad for him because he's doing morning shift with this whole COVID schedule. He's supposed to go in at seven and be out by three before night shift comes in. The night schedule starts at three, I believe. And if they're all together at the same time, that means that 100% of the present, 100% of the company is at work, which is precisely what they're not supposed to do. So we'll see. It's four. He was supposed to be here, but let's just take advantage of this anyway. sweating <laughs> I think this is good for now I still have a mess on the floor hang on a second I got things to put away uh, but this is the general idea I wanted a space where he would be able to come in the office and have his own space since I work from home and obviously he's not here now if I need the space all I have to do is move his laptop and that's it I'm not being too nitpicky about this because remember we're moving and if you had already thought about that and you were wondering why is she going through all that trouble if she's about to move well listen I've been teaching online for three weeks now and it's been a pain. I've been switching. You've seen me. I've been going over to the, um, the dining room table when I'm going to edit my vlog and spend some time with my husband. It's been so inconvenient having to go from the office to the dining room and then having to shuffle everything around so I can edit my vlog, teach my class, do my home business. I just need a setup that's going to stay that way for the long run and god willing at our next home we'll have some sort of space like this an extra room or whatever that will provide this kind of setup or room for this kind of setup and and i'll already know it exists i want to have to think about it later on a different note i am very surprised that he is not home it is 10 to 5. he was supposed to be home two hours ago i'm gonna give him a call see what he has in mind for dinner and actually i'm gonna get back to the office try to get that cleared out before he gets home bit of an inconvenience this was my third time going to the bathroom today which is okay i mean you can have two to three bowel movements but when it's painful and it's diarrhea not good which is why i'm lying down on the couch right now giving myself a little breather, a little break, giving my body some rest. I don't know if it was the activity in the office, but it shouldn't be because that is nothing. At least for me, I think it was nothing. I worked out with my husband, which is why, by the way, we have not worked out again. I worked out with my husband that one day or that one night, and I ended up hurting so bad right here, but my arms, my thighs, nothing hurt. Nothing hurt except for my belly which is why we said okay we got to find a better way to work out because it wasn't like workout pain you know what i'm talking about the day after the gym it was actually like i hurt myself 
pain. So we took it easy. We're just walking the dogs now, which you've seen. But moving stuff around in the office? Come on. That can't be it. While I rest and wait for my husband to come home, which by the way, he did confirm, he's not out yet. And it's what time? I don't even know anymore. 5.15, he's going on 10 hours of work today. Uh, while he gets home, I'm just gonna do some work from my phone, maybe just chill, why not? Cause I'm gonna keep working uh, after he gets back anyway. We always do some stuff on the computer before we chill, before bed. In case you can't tell, it actually just makes me angry. I hate when my body makes me stop doing things. I hate it, cause it's not me, I wanna keep going. But I'm listening. I'm listening to the warning signs, which is something you really need to do, because if you force it, then you're really gonna pay the consequences. Honey's home. He's in the shower right now, getting rid of possibility of COVID. I'm gonna uh, measure, test. I'm gonna test my blood sugar and my blood pressure. Not that I'm feeling so sick. Just in case, I wanna make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be, because I'm feeling very, ugh over here also gonna have some soda crackers head over to the couch by husband's orders oh it looks like she hurt herself or something but she's fine now she's asking for food but as i was saying my husband told me to go over to the couch because um, i'm not feeling well and i had a diarrhea episode this is happening and um I was complaining that I didn't get to finish all the stuff I was doing. He said, no, you've done enough. He loved the office idea and he even had some suggestions for it. He hopped on board real quick, like, oh, maybe we can do this and we can do that and la la la. Luna is so unhappy that I'm not feeding her right now, but I gotta take care of myself. Once Gabby's out of the shower, he can feed them. All right, I'm gonna prop you up on the selfie stand so you can see how I do this in case you have not, but I've shown this several times, especially everything that I use. And here we go. Don't mind the dog hair if you see any. I had picked up my dog, the little one, and when I pick her up, I get full of the big one's hair. You know, huskies shed so much. Let me set these up. Hadn't done this in a few weeks. There. 105 is actually good whether I had just eaten or not eaten because I honestly don't remember when was the last time I ate because I snacked throughout the day. Then I just toss everything in this little packet. Try to cover up the needle again. Fold it up. That's my trash. So sugar is good. I'm gonna test blood pressure now. It's not my perfect blood pressure. Usually I'm 110 over 70, so eh, it's still okay. Which means that really I'm just feeling generally ugh from the diarrhea and the abdominal upset or digestive upset, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna get my soda crackers and veg out on the couch and let my husband deal with everything else because he told me not to touch anything. 